Capitol Hill defended the unborn babies with force, courageously, and was executed, martyred for it. Okay, that's, that's a reality. It's a reality that makes people uncomfortable, but it's a reality. And Operation Save America, under Flip Benham, uh, called for the execution of Paul Hill. And it's still up on the Operation Save America web website saying, Paul Hill must be executed. That's what it says. To this day, Paul Hill must be executed. That is innocent blood. That is exactly like uh, Paul consenting to the death of Stephen. Paul Hill was innocent, innocent, defended innocent children, the children that people like Rusty Thomas, the current director of Operation Save America, pretend that they are defending, but in reality, they have, they have turned them into something less than persons. So that's why I'm saying that Rusty Thomas's son, who died of cancer, deserved to die, deserved to be executed by God or by men, if Paul Hill deserved to die and be executed. And all you people making excuses for it need to recognize Paul Hill was innocent. Rusty and OSA consent and they, and they put a, a, a press release out that is up on their website to this day, Paul Hill must be executed. That is a lie. That is uh, c collaboration with innocent bloodshed, okay? That is being a partaker with murderers. Murderers, the uh, government of Florida and American people who consented and all the Christians who cheered on Paul Hill's execution, like Flip Benham and like Rusty Thomas, who to this day, after years of being the uh, director of Operation Save America, refuses to retract it. Literally, you have stripped the personhood from uh, preborn children that the ones that you are raising funds, using your own son's uh, battle with cancer to raise funds, uh, supposedly to abolish uh, the abortion and restore the, uh, abolish abortion and restore the personhood of the preborn children. But in reality, what you are doing is actually uh, underscoring the crime against these children and stripping them of their personhood, okay? For example, my friend Rick Ellis, uh, down there in Waco, Texas, was for years a good friend of Rusty Thomas. During Y2K, when so many of the right-wing type people were, um, were prepping for Y2K for what they thought was going to be, you know, anything from uh, a significant disruption to a, uh, all the way to some of them thought uh, a major apocalyptic scenario. Uh, that's in their psychology, but that's a whole other, whole other uh, discussion. At that time, Rusty Thomas, the current director of Operation Save America, just a couple of years before Paul Hill, the one who defended the unborn babies by killing the abortionists, just a couple of years before he was executed with the consent of Rusty Thomas's organization, the man, I'm talking about the pastor, Paul Hill, who defended God's innocent children, just a couple of years before the government of Florida under Jeb Bush put him to death with the consent of Flip Benham, and to this day, the consent of Operation Save America, just a couple of years before that, he was standing there in his house showing Rick Ellis his 45 caliber, his 12 gauge shotgun and saying, you know, Rick, I'm going to defend my children, even if it's just me, my own family and my children. Well, guess what? Your boy who just died of cancer is no different than those children that Paul Hill defended. Your own children that you wanted to defend with guns during Y2K is no different than Paul Hill. All right. Are you hearing me? This is hypocrisy. This is evil. And you people, uh, the preborn don't need you. They need you like they need another hole in their little heads. Paul Hill was God's child. So if Paul Hill deserved to die, then your little boy did too. Put that in your pipe and smoke it.